Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. My 2021 numerological message for the life path number two or people strongly associated with the number two energy, that it is important to find something that you enjoy nurturing and throw all your attention into it. What I mean by that is say you enjoy gardening, you know, like you enjoy growing plants or, you know, whatever hobby it is that you're into. It's important for you to throw yourself into it and give it your focus, your attention. And it needs to be something that you enjoy. Because if it's something that you enjoy, then you'll look forward to focusing on it daily. Because the number two energy is a relationship-oriented number. And in the year 2021, that adds up and reduces to the number five energy where we're going to experience a lot of sudden and unexpected changes. The number two energy doesn't like sudden and unexpected changes, especially if it disrupts their partnership or their connections because the number two energy likes stability. You know, so the sudden and unexpected changes that are inevitable that are actually a part of life might cause the number two energy to go deeper into a dependent state of being. Dependent state of being meaning like escaping through food or drinking or smoking or whatever it is that you might escape reality with in order to cope with the moment. Like that could enhance and, you know, get even worse because of the unfamiliarity that comes with the sudden and unexpected changes you know, that 2021 will bring. But if you're focused on your hobby, this thing that you enjoy, that you love doing, along with working on your emotional and spiritual growth, like basically you will become some kind of authority in some area because you'll be spending all this attention, all your attention on it and basically growing stronger when it comes to that area of your life. Because one thing with the number two energy is the number two energy is amazing at nurturing other people and just bringing anything to life, just giving life and resurrecting anything. So whatever it is that you put your attention to, like it's going to be successful. It's going to, you know, grow into something luscious and something that other people would ad will admire because that's who you are. You're good at giving substance to anything and allow other things to shine and be that fuel that basically keeps it going. But it's important for you to keep going. It's important for you to also, it's important for reciprocity. Like that energy needs to come back to you too. So whatever it is that you're pouring into should be pouring back into you. It's like, say you decide to get a pet. And, you know, you're, you take great care of your pet and in return, you know your pet loves you. So that's where the re reciprocity comes in. With the sudden and unexpected changes of 2021, like we might find that like even though you're around people and you're around the people that you love, it's like you still feel a disconnection, like you're around them, but you don't feel like they understand you fully. And, you know, you don't you don't feel like they understand you fully and they might feel the same way because with everything that's happened in the world it's like it's like we're able to see our relationships our friendships and connections on a deeper level you know when there isn't other things distracting us from the reality of it so even though you might not be lonely you will you might still feel lonely and then with the sudden and unexpected changes it's like if we are holding on tightly to things outside of ourselves, then we will always feel like in we're in a state of chaos. We will always feel fearful because the things outside of ourselves are constantly coming and going. And it is so easy for others to 
take these things away from us. But if you cannot control a person's mind, you cannot control that person, you know? And if you cannot control a person's mind, then you can't control their ability to manifest and recreate the kind of life or future or whatever it is that they want in this reality. So number two energy, that's why it's super important for you to invest in something where you can see how your hard work is paying off, whether it's gardening or starting a hobby or a project or whatever it is. It's important to invest in something that's going to be rewarding back to you. And that way, you know, at the same time, you're building your inner world in the process. Like when I started growing plants, I realized that taking care of plants is real nurturing. Like that's what it means to be a real parent in the sense that I had these lilies and, you know, it's sad to say they died. Like I didn't have what it took to take care of them, but I had these lilies and no matter what I did, like I just, you know, I put it in one spot, they seem to be thriving. And then for whatever reason, I move their position or give them too much water or whatever, where a real nurturer is someone that observes something, sees exactly what it needs, and then gives it what it needs in order for it to grow. And you guys are amazing at that. That's why you guys make amazing nurturers. Where for me, I think I am a nurturer, but I realized that <clears throat> in a way, you know, I'm just, okay, I'll give you water at this time. And, you know, you should be good when, no, the plant wants to tell me, what it needs in order for it to thrive. And I'm learning to be patient where that comes so natural to you. But you should put that energy and that effort into something where you're going to see results. Where when we pour into people all the time that don't deserve our pouring into, sometimes we are being codependent and supporting bad behavior and stopping people from their own evolution and stopping people yeah, from having that moment, that breaking point that helps them to realize like this way of living and being isn't working and I need to change my life and do better. So when we, you know, basically nurture people that shouldn't be nurtured in the sense that they're not trying to help themselves in the first place, we are not doing them any good. Like if anything, we are being a disservice to them, holding them back from their evolution, like I said. And in 2021, with a lot of sudden and unexpected changes, you will find that people around you are going through a lot of sudden and unexpected changes. And a lot of the times things happen that are outside of our control. And it's important for us to help each other when we can. But then, of course, there are some of us who take advantage of each other. And, you know, those of us who take advantage of each other, like it's not fair to keep helping people that only want to take advantage and not want to take responsibility for themselves where they are and grow in whatever way they can. So yeah, number two for the year 2021, my advice to you is to pour into yourself and pour into something where the energy can be equally exchanged, where you can see how you're pouring into this thing and you're seeing the results of you investing your energy into something. And Along with that, invest your energy into your spiritual and your emotional growth because regardless of what happens around you with the sudden and unexpected changes, you will be fine because you are built up strong enough emotionally and spiritually to basically um, withstand any storm that comes. I'm not saying that there will be any, but I'm just saying if we build up on our emotional and spiritual growth, regardless of what we lose or what changes in our lives, we have the foundation within to get it all back to rebuild and, 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 and gain anything we've lost or even create something way better than that. Number two, if you are still here with me, please drop me a blue heart in the comment box below to let me know that you are still here with me. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.